So now let's take a look at how to set up an email sequence using the automation feature. First, let's head over to automation right here and then let's click on create. Here we can either start from scratch or we can use one of these automation templates that MailerLite has prepared for us for certain use cases. I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna name my automation welcome email series and then let's click start building. Now here we're able to visually build our email sequence. And the first thing we have to do is set a trigger that will activate the sequence for a contact. So I'm gonna go over here and set the trigger to when a subscriber joins a group. And then here I'm gonna choose this group. Then let's click save. And now our trigger is set up, which means that whenever somebody joins the YouTube subscribers group of my email list, then this automation will start. So now we can continue building this automation by clicking on the plus icon. And the first thing that I want to happen once somebody joins this group is I want to send them a first email. So I'm gonna choose email right here. And then here on the right side, we can set up this email. Now the email name will not be visible to your contacts. This is just for your own organization. Now I'm gonna use this first welcome email to send people the ebook that I have promised them for signing up to my newsletter. So I'll say welcome and then I'll add their name. Here's your ebook. It's from Medix Media and then I'll use this email to send them the email. And then to create this email, I'll just click on design email. Then I'm gonna create a new email from scratch. And this time I'm gonna use the rich text editor. Now I'm done creating this email, so let's click on done editing. And just like that, this email is now added to this automation, which means that whenever somebody signs up on my landing page and goes to the YouTube subscribers group, this automation will be triggered and they will be sent this email. So I don't have to worry about actually sending them the ebook. It will automatically be sent because this automation will take care of it. And now if I want to send them even more emails after this first one, what I can do is just continue with this automation. So I can go to the plus icon and add a delay. I'm gonna set the delay to one day and save. And now I can just add another email by clicking the plus icon again and then clicking email. And now just like before, we can set up our email here on the right side. When the email is ready, it will be shown down here and this email will now be sent out exactly one day after the first email was sent out because here we have a delay of one day. And now we could just continue and set up even more emails in this sequence. For example, if you have a course that is eight weeks long and let's say every week you send out the new course material, you can set up everything once right here in the automation feature and then every student will just go through the course on their own time and you don't have to worry about sending them the course material at the right time. Now you can also do some advanced segmentation by adding conditions to this automation where for example you check if people have opened a certain email or clicked any link in the email and then depending on their actions you're going to be sending them down different paths. So for example here when we, when we click on the plus icon we can add a condition. Then we can set the condition to workflow activity then let's say we're going to choose the second email in this automation and we're going to check if any link was clicked in this second email. And now the automation basically splits into two paths. Here on the left for everybody who has clicked any link in the email and here on the right for everybody who hasn't clicked. So for example, if I have added a video link into this email where maybe I promote a specific product, then I'm gonna send everybody who has actually clicked and watched this video a different email than the people who haven't watched this video. So for everybody who hasn't clicked, I might just send them a different email where I introduce a different product that they might be more interested in. And for everybody who has clicked, I might send them an email that gives them more information about this product or this video that they have watched. Now, if you have a small business, I personally wouldn't recommend adding too many conditions into your automation workflow because it can become quite complex very quickly. However, it's nice to have these tools for whenever we need them.